deputy, three more people arrested with regard to the Boston bombing. And I wanted to get in, into some detail on this. Barry Nolan has been uh, keeping his ear to the ground, doing some great reporting for us, and, and, and others. Out of, he's a former reporter with WBZ Boston, now a professor of journalism at Boston University, a resident of Boston, um, and uh, also now putting together documentaries like No Way Out But One.com. You can uh, learn more about that there. Barry Nolan, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tom. It's good to be with you. Great to have you with us. So tell me, what's going on? Who are these people who got arrested in Boston? And what are they, what's their connection to the, uh, to the alleged bombers and, and the bombing? And, and, uh, and how is Boston responding to this? Boston is following the story really closely. But Boston is also just uh, responding with a kind of defiance towards the, uh, the whole notion of being terrorized. Down, if you go down onto uh, Boylston Street to the, to the area right where the bomb went off, you, today on a beautiful spring day like this, you'll find it thronged with shoppers, with people going purposefully to bring business to the shops that were so badly uh, traumatized by the events of that Marathon Monday. Uh, Boston's doing fine. These three young men that were arrested today, they're doing very badly. Uh, they were not in, uh, it now appears that they were in no way involved in the uh, planning. They didn't have foreknowledge of the bombing because there's a text trail that Jahar left between himself and his three friends down at University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. And uh, basically he told them, uh, take anything from my room that you want. Uh, I'm uh, out of here soon. Mm -hmm. And they apparently disposed of a backpack of his in the dorm room that contained a, uh, a fireworks device that had been emptied of its gunpowder and uh, a uh, computer. So uh, these guys are facing five to eight years in federal prison. Best guess, if you're trying to wanted to speculate, these guys will plea out. There were two of them from uh, Kazakhstan. They will be deported. And the guy, uh, there's an American citizen who will uh, cooperate. And uh, hard to tell exactly what will happen to him. Yeah. But I'm sure there will be a plea deal. Is, is there, uh, it, it, does the evidence suggest that when they basically cleaned up, you know, the, 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 the crime scene, as it were, after the fact, that they realized they were cleaning up a, cli a crime scene or were... Uh, you know, I mean, had they put two and two together at the time that they disposed of this stuff, or were they, they just apparently just... did text Jahar that, "Gee, you you look like the guy in the picture," and uh, he responded with some things like "LOL." Uh, it's unclear. It will take a trial, and it will take uh, a, a jury to determine whether or not they fully comprehended whether, uh, the full import of exactly what they were doing. Yeah, uh, you can imagine that old uh, an old friend can call you up and say, uh, "Hey, man, I'm going to be nailed for something I didn't do. You got to help me because just because I'm from uh, Chechnya, I know they'll nail me even though I didn't do anything." Right. You, you can imagine, that, especially that, if you're from Dagestan, if you if you're from a, a country that uh, has equally not always, uh, shall we say, civil civil yes. uh, liberties and and whatnot. Yeah. So uh, it's too early to. Uh, begin elaborate speculation about exactly what they knew and what role they played and how knowingly they played their role. Right. But I think one of the things we did see today, sadly, was that there will be another casualty of the Boston Marathon bombing that could well be immigration reform. Uh, already there's so many people on the far right that are using the fact that foreign people were involved in this, that Muslims were involved in this, that these people uh, got welfare, that it's playing so well on far-right radio yeah. that and you Fox. can imagine yeah. that the, the, the way it rolls out is that this begins to be a, a drumbeat that begins to scare the Republicans that would have needed to support comprehensive immigration reform and people may be badly wounded still yeah. by that bomb. Yeah. On the other hand, the uh, Im the immigration reform bill that was being proposed had several giant booby traps in it 
Um, the main one being that the that the Republican border state governors had to certify that the fence was actually uh, like the Berlin Wall, you know, that it, that it was actually effective, and you know, which is, in, it, by the way, would incredibly destructive to the ecosystems of the Southwest. There are animals that need to migrate through those areas. But in it's any also, case, go ahead. It, it's destructive to uh, families. It's destructive to the ecosystem, and it. Uh, is an issue for private people that believe in private property rights. The same people that are on the far right that think private property is sacrosanct now believe that to make uh, the governor of Arizona happy, you have to take a lot of private property and put up a Berlin Wall. Yeah, yeah, and and that if that wall isn't, if we, I mean, I I actually lived for a year on the east west german border i know what it takes to build a wall that will actually stop people i've had you know i've walked along that wall where the where the where the uh, uh grenade not grenades the uh landmines were in the soil right next to, i mean literally three feet from where i was walking i'm right on the edge of the road and then 10 feet back from that the 20 foot high barbed wire fence with the razor wire and the guys in the guard towers following with the, with the machine guns i've been there and you know i know what it takes to build that kind of wall so i, I think that this um this attempt at, at, at reform was uh, kind of booby-trapped to begin with. So um, maybe, I, I, maybe people will wake up in 2014 and we can get a decent Congress and w then we can take a serious shot at this. You know, but, but I think your point is well made. But. I, I think they're, they're, if you want to try and game out the future, yeah. it may well be that the uh, immigration reform bill, as flawed as it would have been, mm -hmm. will be a casualty of the Boston Marathon bombing. And that, in turn, will make the Republican Party a victim of their own devices. They will be hoist on their own card yeah. in 2014 for opposing in this xenophobic way that you hear them talking about. Right. right. How ironic is that, huh? Barry Nolan, former newscaster, WBZ TV in Boston, nowayoutbutone.com, professor of journalism at BU. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Tom.